Hey everybody, this is Robert with Sigma 3 Survival, and we're down here on the Mulberry River this weekend doing a little bit of, uh, uh, we're just doing a little survival trip, and uh, we're also going to be covering a lot of uh, primitive fishing methods as well as some modern methods. And since the yo-yo trap was such a uh, successful video in the past, and we had a lot of, uh, you know, viewers say that they wanted to see some more setups to that, I wanted to go ahead and shoot um, on how to shoot a jug set today. This is a, a useful method for catching fish. Um, you know, like I talked about in the last video, yo-yo traps are probably the single best way that you can carry a lightweight setup in your scout kit or your bug out bag uh, that's going to produce food time and time again. Um, you know, they only weigh a few ounces, they cost a few dollars, so there's really no excuse that you don't have one in your, in your kit. Um, so we're going to do a jug set today, and basically what a jug set is, is just like what it sounds, you attach a jug to your yo-yo, and basically you've got a little attachment point right here, I'll tie a little bit of trot line to, and then we've got our, our hook with um, a couple of feet of leader on the bo bottom portion of this, and I'll show y'all how this works once we get down and actually set it up uh, in the creek. Um, a jug set is typically good for areas that don't have running water. I notice you, you know, definitely we've got pretty fast moving water here, so what we're going to do is find an area uh, where the water is uh, extremely slow moving. That way the jug sets in the same place, and, and hopefully we'll find a, a deep hole as well. Um, you know, there's just so many different ways you can set this up. We'll probably do a couple more videos on this, so just hang tight. Uh, I'm going to go scout out a spot on where we can throw this in, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I got the jug set up. Uh, it's the simplest thing in the world. Um, all you do is attach right here to this top point right here. You set your trigger. I mean, it's as simple as can be. Uh, it's, it's set whenever the fish pulls, and it'll uh, release the tension, and it'll set the hook on the fish. Um, I love bank line or trot line because it has so many uses. If you've got bank line, uh, hooks and monofilament, there's no reason that you should go hungry near a bottle, uh, body of water. Uh, this will catch fish anywhere in the world. This is 250 pound test. Um, you know, you can tie large catfish hooks to this in dirty water and uh, catch, you know, some huge cats with it. Um, right now in this clearer water, you're going to want to use something with a smaller line. Um, I prefer uh, clear, uh, 12 pound test and under. Uh, 8 to 10 is usually the, the you know, what works best for me. Um, using Caterpillar right now, like, a, you know, you really want to use something that's tough. You want chuck roast meat, you want snake is my favorite because snake's got such a tough hide that uh, you can catch fish over and over with it. I've caught 10 to 15 fish with the same bait before. Um, and the trick with this is, you know, if you're survival fishing, you don't have a boat, you've got to be able to throw this out and sometimes the line will get tangled so wrap it to where it's just like a hose and put this in one finger so you can hold on to it and then grab with the other arm and then just toss it out and you know we'll let that set for an hour or two uh, we'll check it periodically since this is a moving body of water for the most part, we couldn't find anything that, uh, you know, is completely not moving at all. Uh, we'll have to come back and check it, but if, uh, if the water's, you know, not moving, then you don't have any issues. You just tie this off to a branch and you're good to go. So uh, we'll check back in a couple hours. Alright, so we left the yo-yo out about two hours, and to be honest, it's really not even that great of fishing today. Uh, it's really hot, muggy, there's no pressure systems coming in, uh, but uh, sure enough, uh, here's dinner. We only put out uh, two, two yo-yos, and uh, you know, 50% ain't bad. I'm fixing to set out about four more, um, but that just goes to show you how easy and, and, and you know, stupid proof these things are. I mean, I could teach a monkey to catch fish in, in less than an hour with one of these, and uh, there's just no reason you shouldn't have some in your kit for a few bucks, you know. Uh, it takes, a, you know, ten minutes to set one up, hooking up the line and everything once you get to your spot. And that's not a bad meal for a, a you know, stream catch like this. For the most part, on streams like this, you're going to get stuff that 
our smaller brim and small bass, but this is a decent sized little catfish, so um, I'm actually going to uh, start preparing this thing, and I'm, I'm going to make a video on, on how to cook uh, catfish uh, over at the campfire, so uh, check out that video as well, and um, you know, please help support us by subscribing, we appreciate any commentary that you have, and uh, tune in for the next video, thanks.